morning. I am exhausted. <laughs> um, and I'm afraid that whatever the Ativan or whatever they gave me at the hospital last night is gonna make me constipated. So I got my tea, got my water. I have a, oh geez, Louise, it's 9.40. I have a 10 o'clock Zoom meeting, so I'm like, get your, get your ass together. Um, so I'll tell you what happened. I was out, by the way. I'll tell you what happened. A little backstory is my heart rate, it, it's always been like super low in the 70s. Always. Even when I was like super anxious about my meeting my uh, new primary care last recording, I was just standing recording a try on. Uh, not a try on, but like m what my outfit was. I want to do like an outfit a day in March. And I made, and then all of a sudden, okay, sorry, I'm going to try and get through this. I would just watch that back and it looks like some things are kind of out of order. But anyways, what I was saying was I was just standing for maybe five minutes recording my outfit to do like an outfit a day in March. And then all of a sudden I was like, my heart rate was... I could visibly feel it just like rising, rising, rising. And I could see it just like pumping out of my neck. Like it was so high. And I was like, okay, this is, this is so weird. And so I have this little handheld monitor. So I checked my heart rate and it was 158 and I was doing absolutely nothing. And again, super weird since my heart rate, like hardly ever gets out of the seventies. So I go upstairs. I lay in bed and I'm like trying to calm down and then my heart rate goes down into like the 40s and, and so I'm like okay so I sit up I'm literally laying down and I just sit up in bed just went from the laying down position started to like feel like I was catching my breath and I sat up in bed and I had this on and it spiked up to 170 and that freaked shit out of me um I thought I was having a heart attack my hands went completely numb. I texted my um, my girlfriend who is like an ER nurse and I was like, tell me that I'm like overreacting. Uh, this is so silly. But I was like, it was just totally no normal. and went from 158 and then down to like 140. And anyways, I gave her everything. And then she was like, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. And I then I was like, what have I done? My initial thought was like that I shocked my heart in the pool or something. And then magically four or five hours later, I was like having a reaction to it. Okay, so two minutes until my meeting. Um, when we got to the emergency room, they did not think that, or they thought it was very like unlikely that the cold water hurt my heart. So that's good. <laughs> Am I doing it today? No. Um, and they ruled out all the really scary things. So, um, no heart attack. They ruled out a blood clot. They did say that my EKG showed like signs of tachycardia, but they were like, we think your heart looks fine. Um, the blood work showed that my thyroid was elevated. So like hypothyroidism, which I will say that when I met with my new primary care last week, she was concerned about my thyroid and my hormone levels, but she was waiting until like the first day of my period to like draw blood. It's over, but um, I'm really hopeful that when I do my blood work and the full panel with my hormones and and my thyroid, that we can get some answers because I know that thyroid issues can affect your heart rate. And I don't ever want to go through that again. That was terrifying. I legit thought. And I could only go in there by myself. I legit thought I was going to lay on that bed and have a heart attack. Anyways, um, so <laughs> I will not be continuing my polar plunge for the month of March just because <laughs> I want to give the old ticker a rest. But I will be sharing my daily outfit still on TikTok. I almost freaking forgot Lumino's 
Hi, hello. Teeth whitening kits are on sale today. I love it when they go on Amazon for like a 24 hour sale day because Amazon to me is like the easiest place to just click and buy. 40% off of the teeth whitening strips. I freaking love these things. I'm not gonna wear one right now because I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Actually, we should do a poll. Do you put your teeth whitening strips on before or after you brush your teeth? Because I usually do it after I brush my teeth. Anyways, these are natural and do not contain peroxide. I'm thinking I've talked about these for two years or going on two years now. I love them. Um, so no code needed. If you click this link here, it'll take you to the Amazon website and you're going to see the big daddy box. That's what I use. That's what I love. Um, if I have any events that I'm going to, I will use a set, which is a top and a bottom every single night for like a week. My last trip, I did them for like 10 days in a row just so I could get like the ultra brightness out of them. Um, and you can do that when you first start using them too. Other than that, like once a week to every two weeks, love these, zero sensitivity.